Hey friends, I'm Rebecca, this is Body Illumination, welcome. Today I wanted to give you a little peek inside my bag of tricks of what I use in my studio for both me and for anyone that I might be teaching a repertoire to. Lots of things that you can get done without any equipment. But sometimes, if you're like me, you like to get a little bit of an equipment that might be a catalyst to access something a little bit more easily for you. So you don't, by any sense of the imagination, have to invest in these things. More is not always better. That's something that I need to repeat to myself over and over and over again because when I go to workshops and conferences, I come home with loads of stuff and deliveries. I am one of those people that just loves to shop. It's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I wanted to give you a little peek on some equipment that I use and some things that you might be have laying around the house that can help you when you're exercising or when you're trying to stretch something out. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the wheel. So this usually is referred to as a Pilates or a yoga wheel, and you can do all sorts of fun exercises with this. And I wanted to let you know, yes, you can get it online. I'll show you some links below, but you can also get it at lots of places like a Marshall or a TJ Maxx if you have something like that near you. Probably Walmart, I'm sure, and even like a Target. But it's, it's great for opening up the chest. And it's also great for decompressing the spine. So there's all wonderful exercises that you can do on this. And usually put it right here, and then you go back. And you can do all wonderful things with this. And I will show, if you're interested, I will show you a whole class on this. There's a, a ton of fun things you can do with this. So these are really fun. These are little squishy balls and they have a little bit of resistance to them. Depending upon the density, you can feel that you can squeeze them easily and some not so much. So these are great for anybody that wants to work out the kinks in their hands, but they're also really great to use if you want to work on that connective tissue. So if you have a roller that you roll on all the time, this is sometimes a little bit more intense. You can put it right underneath your glutes. You can work it into your hamstrings. You can also put it on your back and lie on your back and put it on your, like any little trigger points that you might have. So this is a fun little tool too that you might want to consider. But you could also use a tennis ball. So I'm sure you have some tennis balls laying around the house. I directed a program and we used to have this on our schedule. It was a yoga trigger point therapy class. And I also taught a variation of that within my classes. And it's really easy to do. You just find that trigger point on your back and you lay down and you kind of massage it and you work it out. So depending upon how intense you want it, you might want to pad these tennis balls. It might be too much. This is a little bit softer. It's not as big. So it's totally up to you. Now, another tool, I had actually a Pilates ball. I'll put a link below. I think my kids took it outside to play. So I am showing you what you could use instead of that. This is just one of their little balls they use around the house to play basketball and one of their little plastic basketball courts. So you can use this. This is great for Pilates and you just put it right into your back and it gives you that lift that sometimes you need for some of us who have a little tightness in the spine. This is a great, great, great tool. Again, this is just a little ball that you can pick up at your local Target or Walmart. And it's, it's great to have around when you're trying to do an exercise and you're a little tight in your neck for whatever reason, but you wanna work your core muscles. And when you go into that C curve, it's a little bit too challenging for you because you're really tight. So I love this. This is another one. This is one they won. And again, it's, it's, it's just a little ball. Again, you can use this also, both of these, like you would a block to open up your chest. So this one, this little arc, and also this block are all great for opening up this region and also your pelvis. So you could take this between your shoulder blades and you just put it right here, come on down and lay back. And there, this one is not really, really stiff. So when you go down on it, it goes down. Where is the block? You can come on up high. You can come on up low with it. And that's just like 
heaven. Now, you can also do this with the ball and the block to get into your pelvis. A nice therapeutic stretch. <sighs> and this feels super for my lower back, for my hips, and it gives you a little bit more of a restorative feel. So when you're doing it, it's not as intense as just the block alone. So it's not like a block with a blanket, it's a block with a ball, you know? So something you might wanna consider, and also this bend back knobber is pretty cool too. I got this at a conference and it helps you find those trigger points. And if you don't have somebody around that can help you get into your back, you can go into the lower back. It's just shaped like an S and you can find those trigger points in your back and just work them out a little bit. Ooh, that feels intense. Another great, great, great tool is a folding chair. Yeah, you can do so many amazing things with a folding chair. You can do your bar repertoire on the folding chair. You can do yoga stretches on a folding chair. There's so many amazing things that you can do with just a folding chair. It's really super cool. So again, more is not always better. I do have lots of little props that I use because obviously when you're working with students and clients, you want to find what best works for them. So I like to have a nice big bag of tools so that if something doesn't work so great for them, I can try something else. Now for you yourself at home, if you're a minimalist, then you know stick with the block, maybe grab a ball and keep your mat accessible. Thank you so much for joining today. Have a beautiful day. If you want to check out more of Body Illumination, check out our morning series. I'll show some links above and check out our playlist. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell. That's really important. Otherwise, you won't be notified of the next videos that come out. And also subscribe at bodyillumination.com. Check out our newsletter and add Rebecca at bodyillumination.com to your mailbox. And it's Rebecca with a K. R-E-B-E-K-A-H at bodyillumination.com. So add that to your mailbox and look for some exciting news from me. Have a beautiful Thank you and namaste.